Let's learn the best possible way we can start using O1 Preview in our workflows. It is not as simple as using O1 Preview for every single type of prompt. Therefore, by the end of this video, you're going to learn the exact use case we use O1 Preview when using AI in our workflow. Sound good? Let's jump in. I've started using O1 Preview more in my workflow when it comes to coding and building a software. But in this video, I'm going to show you the things I've learned up to this point for any type of context, right? Whether you're in marketing, real estate, HR, whatever it is, you're going to learn in this video how we can apply O1 Preview to your workflow. As what I realized is that it's not a one size fit all. E.g., you don't just select O1 Preview and be like, okay, let me ask every single thing I want to ask ChatGPT using this model. That's not an effective use of your time. And let me show you why. I currently have ChatGPT O1 Preview selected. This is my prompt. I want to set up code that tracks conversions for signups. I use Google Ads, Google Analytics, and Firebase Web App, etc. Here's the issue. I hit enter here, and this, this applies to any industry. Hit enter here. And what makes O1 Preview so powerful actually works against you when starting new conversations or trying to learn new topics. And the reason that is, is that you'll put one prompt like this, just one sentence, and then all of a sudden, this model just spews out an entire plan and direction with no stop in sight, which becomes cost heavy in the context of time, right? Let's say that I put in that prompt and it's like the first part of these directions are good, the second part aren't good. And then I have to basically reproctor Chad GBT and be like, wait, 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 first is good. Second is good. Like it jumps the gun too much. But how do we circumnavigate this? So what I've been personally doing is this. We're going to use a chat of Chad GBT 4.0. Put it simply, we use GBT 4.0 to brainstorm and create the prompt we want to use with O1. Brainstorm. And the reason we do this is that we get faster responses with the 4.0 model here. This is going to give us fast responses of a general direction we want to go for our underlying prompt. And then from this response, we can kind of narrow down more, making a better prompt for O1 to really build out the plan that we plan on attacking. To make this a little bit more clear, let's say we got this output here. We're like, okay, this is good. This is good. Oh wait, actually I want to use Google Tag Manager to track this code. We can say, actually, let's use GTM through this process. We can do this with the O1 preview, but the problem is that it then just spews out an entire list and it just takes too much time for back and forth here. What I encourage you to do and what I've been doing personally in my workflows and whatever workflows you're currently doing is get the general direction of where you want to go and kind of the plan, right? The brainstorming part here, and then use this knowledge to build a better formulated prompt for O1. So GBT01 becomes the plan, plan. Now, of course, you could in theory brainstorm with GBT01 and get those super long outputs that take a good amount of time. But I think the more optimized way of approaching this is approaching it with a little bit more context before talking to O1. Let me know stress that you are doing personally when talking to these different models. I just found personally, when I'm jumping between the models, I found myself in situations with O1 preview where the answers are really good, but I would have to stop it halfway through. Maybe step three was completely off base. Therefore, what I found myself doing is proctoring GBT 4.0 to get the ideas and the direction of where I want to go, the brainstorming, and then using that knowledge in O1 to really build out my entire output so I know step one through four are accurate to what I'm trying to accomplish. What are y'all doing though? Are you just jumping straight to O1 preview and just waiting those times? And if it messes up on the third step, you're just like trying to correct it. Whatever it may be, let me know in the comments down below. This concludes today's video. Make sure to leave a like. It's completely free. Check out my other videos on this channel here. And if you want to build out an entire website that is completely free other than the domain using AI, check out a playlist on this channel here that I'm building out. It is a pretty big one. I think by the end, it's going to be like four hours long. And I'll see you in the next video. These videos are based off everything you've done in your entire life on YouTube. Are they any good? I'll see you in the next video.